All right, guys, welcome to today's video. Today, I'm going to walk you through how I built out my simple Spotify playlist builder in make.com leveraging chat GPT and web hooks. So in the last video, I built a Spotify music playlist generator leveraging Slack as an input method. The problem that I run into with Slack and make.com is the operations that it uses. So make.com, you pay by operations. So the more operations you use, the more you're going to pay to use make.com. And those operations are scheduled. So if you want an application or a scenario, uh, as make calls them, to run every minute, that will run 1440 per day. So every minute, there's 1,440 minutes in a day. So that would use 1,440 operations per day. So if you wanted to have something listening like that to set up a, uh, a new playlist, then that's, you know, would get quite costly over time. So rather than doing that, what I like to do is I like to build out things in test mode using Slack because it's an easy input method. And then I'll go back and I'll rebuild those uh, applications using webhooks. Because with webhooks, I can have multiple entry points or different entry points. What I like to do is I like to build out shortcuts within uh, my iOS device so that I can just use that shortcut. And then it calls upon the webhook to do what I need it to do, whether it be create a playlist and build out uh, so songs and Spotify into my playlist or build social media content or whatever I need to do. I like having that integration. I like being able to be free and not be tied to my computer. So by doing so, it gives me that access. Plus a webhook is something that's instantaneous within make.com. And you only use that operation when you are, uh, you know, in make.com and ready for that. So, you know, it's really exciting to, uh, to be able to do this kind of thing. And what I am going to do now is I'm going to, um, you know, show you this scenario that I've already built. And then we're going to go through and we are going to build it from scratch, including the iOS shortcut. So hopefully this is something you'll be interested in and you'll find this useful. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you my current scenario. So my current scenario, if you go in to my make.com and take a look at this, my current scenario shows that I have the webhook coming in. It goes to OpenAI. Uh, then we parse our JSON that our OpenAI module uh, returns. And then we create a Spotify playlist. Then we use an iterator to go through all the different songs that are built out in our array. We search for those tracks and then add them to the playlist. Then we close out our array aggregator. Uh, so we close out our iterator so that it becomes one function again. And then we send a notification to iOS, letting us know that our playlist is ready to go. So I'm gonna close out of this guy and we are going to create a new scenario and start from scratch. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to do a webhook. So type in webhook and it's going to go custom webhook. See how it's instant. That little makes it instant. We're going to just create a new one. We're going to call it Spotify. You or let's call it YouTube. There we go. YT Spotify video webhook save. Okay, here's our webhook. I'm gonna copy this to clipboard. I'm gonna move it over here with some of the other things that I already saved. Okay, I'm gonna come back in here. I'm gonna click okay. And now I'm gonna switch over to my phone. So let me share my phone screen here for you. Bam. Can you see it? No, 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 no. Hold on. Let me get my phone working here for you. It's kind of a pain in the butt trying to get my phone to work with reflector. There we go. Done. Okay. Make sure it's up high enough to where you can see. There we go. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my shortcuts. 
and this is the shortcut that I had already built for this, right? So it shows you, you know, that you're going to ask for tax. What can I help you with? What it's going to ask. You're also going to have a text that you're going to set as a variable. That's going to be the webhook address that we just copied and pasted into my notes. Set variable, the webhook to that text, and then get the contents of that um, in the webhook. So rather than doing all of this from scratch, and if you need me to do a separate video on this to walk you through how to do this, other than looking at what's here, I mean, it's pretty cut and dry, but if you need a video for that, just let me know in the comment section and I'll build out a video for this. But to save time with this, I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to uh, duplicate this. We're going to rename it. I'm going to call it um, Spotify Media Maker. Done. We're going to get rid of this webhook. And we're going to use the one that we just pasted. There we go. Copy, paste. There we go. Let me make sure that's there. Yep. Okay. Done. So now it's ready to take inputs. Okay. So now we're going to go back to the computer. And on the computer here, well, actually, first, let's go back to the phone real quick. I just want to show you this real quick. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go like this. Oops. I'm going to hold down. I am going to go do, 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 share. Then I'm going to add the home screen. There you go. Looks good like that. I'm going to move it over to the screen we're using. Bam. So now I've got a input and I've got my Spotify here. So first let's go, let's go into my Spotify real quick. You can take a look into my Spotify, look at my playlist. Bam. So I've got some of these different songs, you know, different playlists, but the, the most recent is that alt rock pulse retro rock revival. So watch what happens when I go through and we, after we build this, we're going to create a new playlist uh, for this. So first thing we're going to do now is I am going to stop sharing my phone. We're going to jump back into make.com so we can take a look at this. And my phone's probably going to disconnect through this, but that's fine. Um, what I want to do, though, is actually let's jump on the phone one more time. And on the phone, what I want to do is jump back out here. We're going to click on our scenario in here. We're going to redetermine data structure. I'm going to click on my phone. I'm going to say, um, let's see, actually, I created a prompt here that I'm going to use for this video. So let's cancel this. Let's go back here. Let's uh, use this for the prompt. Okay. And Spotify. Let's go back here. Bam, bam. Paste. Bam. Okay. There we go. Successfully determined. So now we've got our prompt. We are good to start developing. So I'm going to stop showing the phone so that we can finish out this scenario. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to add a chat GPT, create a completion module. This is going to be pretty simple. I'm going to use the uh, create a chat completion. We're going to use the 4.0, which is the newest model. It's cheaper than the GPT-4. We're going to have a role of an assistant, and we're going to have a role of a user. The user's role is just going to be to take the input from the webhook. And the assistant role, I've typed out here, you're an expert, and this is at at building Spotify playlists based on mood, genre, song, or band. You find songs that match the mood, genre, song, or band and build out a 15-song playlist and return the results in JSON format so the playlist can be built within Spotify via make.com, formerly Integramat. Make sure not to duplicate songs so that you have 15 unique songs in your playlist. You don't respond with any instructions or comments, only strict JSON with the song data to be used with Spotify. Include a playlist name that is clever based off the user's input and the vibe of the songs in the playlist. Do not include JSON containers in your response, just the strict JSON code, starting with the open curly bracket. So I'm going to take that, copy that, and I'm going to paste that into my assistant. Okay. Then the only other thing I need to do here, I'm going to change my max tokens to zero because if it's zero, the limit of the model will be used. So it can go all the way up to the limit of the model. 
And then the only thing else is an advanced. I need to change this from text to JSON. I want to make sure it does return a JSON object. All right. The next step now is going to be our JSON parser. We're going to take the results and we actually need to create a data structure. And I think I've created one of these before. Um, here we go. We're going to do that. Okay. And the JSON string is going to be our result. Okay. Simple enough, right? Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a Spotify playlist. So we're going to look up Spotify. We're going to create a playlist. The playlist name is going to come from my JSON. It's going to be parsed from our JSON. And the description is just going to be our input text. Nice and simple. Okay. So next thing I need to do. So right here, let's walk through where we're at. We've got our input portion where we're going to get the input. We've got our chat GPT module, which is going to actually create the songs that are going to be put into our playlist. We parse that out so that it becomes different information like arrays. We're going to have our uh, Spotify playlist created. Now the next thing we need to do is put songs into that playlist, right? So we need an iterator model, which actually is going to be flow control iterator. We're going to put that right here. The iterator array is going to be songs, right? We're going to get that from here. It's going to be songs. Okay. In here, we're going to put another Spotify model module, and we are going to search a track. So we want to look for a specific song. We are going to look for the artist and the song. We are in the U.S. market, so we're going to select the U.S. market and... If you're in a different market, maybe you need to select your market. And I'm just going to limit it to one because I don't want to have multiple songs returned. Next thing I need to do is I need to add those to my playlist. So we're going to add the item to the playlist. And this one's going to be pretty simple because the playlist ID, we're going to map. We're going to get that from the playlist we created, which was create a playlist. Playlist, we got to find our playlist ID. There we go. Okay. And then we got to find the song. So the song is going to be coming from our tracks. There we go. Okay. Now the last part of this is I like to be notified when I have a uh, item created. And since I want to know it immediately, I'm actually going to do my iOS built in. Send a push notification. I want to send it to my iPhone 14 Pro. The title is going to be close that, close that. It's going to be close that, close that. Playlist name, playlist created in Spotify. There we go. I'm not going to put a body in. And just like that, we should have a scenario that works. We're going to auto align. We're going to name this for our YouTube video, YouTube, uh, Spotify from prompt. The Spotify playlist from prompt. There we go. Let's save this. All right, guys, let's plug it in and see if it works now. We're going to hit run. Let's put in our prompt. It go. Have Chat GPT figure it out. There we go. Created a playlist. It's going through. Let's see if it creates all the songs for the playlist. You said 15. 15 complete. We should have got a notification, but our focus mode's not on. Did we get a notification? We did. Country Splash Vibes Playlist. Perfect. So now, to be able to go back into Spotify, there it is. And there is all of our songs. Perfect.
Well, I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will answer them as best I can. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and look forward to chatting with you and going through things in the next video. If there's a scenario that you'd like to learn how to do, anything you'd like to learn how to do in make.com or automation, please let me know and I will use it as an idea for a future video. Thanks again.